September, he is celebrating his 25th anniversary. He was my idol growing up. I would love to be in the ring with Manichu Parakanji. The ball is in Noah's court. Marafuji, 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 Marafuji son. So coming out to Marafuji's music was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. I want Marafuj to win. Come <laughs> uh, So in England, we had the wrestling channel in the UK. And uh, sometimes you would get Yushin van der Leiger commercial. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. And me and my friends was able to find uh, Noah Gate of Destiny 2005. First ever Japanese pro wrestling I ever watch, pro wrestling Noah. As a kid, Sugoi, uh, incredible, I, I love. I find uh, Kenta versus Marafuji and just blown away. Incredible pro wrestling and I, I just fascinated by Marafuji son. Marafuji matches, just, I think fascinated is the biggest word just because I, I never seen anyone. The way Marafuji would just change direction, run, if maybe he throw a clothesline, Kenta would boot, he'd spin round, hit like hook kick. I can't believe, he just, he was most uh, fascinating pro wrestler for my childhood ever. I, I don't know if you ever remember when you was like a kid, when you'd see something, you would just stop, maybe you play with toys or whatever, you'd stop and you'd just, just watch. Like that's how I felt when I watched Marafuji. Eh? Not to wrestle against him. I've been on uh, the same team as him once, so uh, coming out to Marafuji's music was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> like as a kid, I still remember we did a New Japan Taiwan show uh, and I was teaming up with Yano-san, Marufuji-san in six-man tag. So I got to watch Marufuji strategize and how, he, how his brain works. So that was cool. That was real cool. But never opposite, never. In 2016, uh, we were doing a New Japan Destruction Tour. And uh, I went drinking with Marafuji san. Uh, at the time, I, I, I don't drink, but because Marafuji was like my hero, I just wanted to impress him. And uh, I, I don't remember this night. <laughs> I have no rem <laughs> Yeah, but I know I got a photo with Marafuji san. <laughs> really happy. And uh, I was like, ah, <laughs> just excited, you know what I mean? Because for, for me, like, uh, just growing up, uh, admiring his technique, his work, his, um, his durability as well. Like he has been consistent throughout all of his years in pro wrestling. It's a level of excitement, but also nervous because this is my, this is honestly my hero, hey, so. I don't want to let him down. I don't want to let any pro wrestling fans that are excited down. So this is maybe, maybe my ultimate test. Um, I think, uh, I think this match is important because I think it teaches this generation to aim high with pro wrestling, like. I think what everyone needs to understand with uh, Japanese pro wrestling, it's very rare to have any type of crossover. New Japan does New Japan, Noah does Noah. We hardly ever get crossover. So when I first came in with New Japan, I honestly thought I would never ever wrestle Marafuji. And I have dreamt of this match for years upon years upon years and it's finally happening and right now I think I am the best pro wrestler in the world right now 
Like, he's just, uh, I can't imagine anyone growing up admiring uh, their hero and then getting to meet them. They're super nice, they're super friendly. As a kid growing up, if you tell me as a kid, oh, Marafuji, uh, like, good friend, I, I probably don't believe. So have Marafuji as like a good friend, that, that's so cool to me. So my favorite Marafuji match was uh, the one against Okada at King of Pro Wrestling, uh, Rio Goku. And it's just because uh, usually we would all sit backstage and watch through a monitor. But for me, uh, this is the first time I ever watched Marafuji live. Yeah, I was in like a six man tag, like maybe match one. And then afterwards, I just showered, got changed and just <laughs> wait, wait, I waited, you know, like, oh, go, go, then main event. Then I just <laughs> took a chair from backstage and I went out to Rio Goku and I... <sighs> <laughs> it's strange now because I, I can remember, I. As I'm telling you, I can remember sitting there and watching the match and just my heart listening to the Japanese fans started racing. So I've, I think subconsciously that match was the reason why I wanted to dedicate my life to Japanese wrestling. I think subconsciously I saw that match and I said, that's what I want to do. I want to have that type of impact on Japanese wrestling fans I, I, and and to the pro wrestlers as well because we all watched that match and it was a it was an incredible bout so I watched that and I, I feel inspired by watching that match at the time uh, I was in chaos Okada you know senpai <laughs> but <laughs> I seriously small part small I want Marafuge win. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite technique, it has to be the hook kick. The hook kick is just such a, an incredible move to take your opponent completely out of the game because he's not expect, he's looking this way. He's not expecting the kick to come round here. It's one of the most it's the best uh, strike that you can do just to take your opponent out of the game. Uh, of course I like, uh, as soon as I saw all the Marafuji moves, of course I wanted to steal them. So, <laughs> like, yeah, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that. Because <laughs> so, the technique works. The technique is flawless. And Marafuji, I think, has created, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, about 70% of my offense. So, I mean, hey, this could be even more embarrassing. If I beat Marafuji with his own moves, then that, that may be too much embarrassing. I want everybody who has ever watched a Will Ospreay match or has ever wanted to be inspired to be a professional wrestler to watch this match because Marafuji is the reason why I am a pro wrestler. To any fan, to any fan that's ever watched a Will Ospreay match, and been mesmerized and been inspired by it. It's all because of Marafuji. This match is everything to me. This is a, a dream come true. Marafuji inspires me just because his longevity and he's always been consistent. There hasn't been a time where he's slowed down. He's always been a super, high level and I, I i take so much inspiration from that like that's that's what i want to be that's who i want to be i want to show that i don't want to take it around the world <laughs> uh, to, to never give up i came from like a small part of england called Essex. I always wanted to be pro wrestler. I don't know how. I don't know how I got here today. But all I did was just work hard and have little goals and little dreams 
and one by one I've achieved all those goals and now there's only my dreams left and I'm about to tick off a dream match. So my message is just to never give up. If this is something that you really want to do, even if it's not pro wrestling, if there is something in life that you really, really want to do, just go for it. If it's your love, if it's what your heart is, just go. What's the worst that can happen? Nine times out of 10, we fail at things that we don't want to do. So we might as well try something that we want to do. And I always wanted to be a pro wrestler and wrestle Marafuji. Here I am. Happy anniversary and thank you for everything that you've done in pro wrestling. Thank you so much for the inspiration. Thank you so much for the motivation in me being a professional wrestler. What you have done is gone above and beyond the line of duty that pro wrestlers need to do. However, when the bell rings, respect is out the window and I want the very best Marafuji because you are in the ring with the best wrestler in the world today. And I believe I wouldn't be the best if it wasn't for you. So please, I would like the best Marafuji in September in Kodakan Hall. I've got the good stuff.